All I had to do was come over here. First, I checked the zipper to see if the zipper was intact, and it is, and I zipped it down. Hey, what's up, Mike with Minder Sykes here. It has been a while. I'm still doing the eBay thing, very part-time. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what the garage looks like now, because it has been a while. And if you've seen my eBay store, you will see that I have dropped from over a thousand items down to about 600 items. That's because I'm niching down to mainly men's short sleeve, long sleeve button up shirts, board shorts. I'm niching down because those are a lot easier to ship. They just go into poly bags, easy to photograph and list. At least I think so, but I don't like selling clothes. I am less tempted to keep, though I don't find much stuff in my size anyways. Here we go. My desk is chaos, so it's still from the cleanup. Found these Rugrat tapes. That Falcor backpack I found at the thrift store a couple months ago. Love that thing, it's custom made. I kept what rock tapes, the actual stuff that I would listen to, and they're gone. So I'm not even selling this tapes anymore. I more than made my money. If you ever watch, go back and watch that deal. I built, with the help of my oldest son, this clothing rack. It's just a broomstick, got from the hardware store. Obviously a couple holes drilled out for that. And then it's just uh, some cardboard tubing right there that I taped down just so it doesn't slide out. I haven't had any issues with it. This two by four was all one piece. We cut those down and then they're just two screws in each and going in a kind of pattern like that. And it worked out. Now behind me, there should be more black shelves, but they're gone. I still have some of the consignment stuff that I was doing. All my polos, short sleeve men's button ups, hodgepodge of stuff, and a little piece of leaf or something right there. Tommy Bahama, it's like an orange apricot Baja type shirt. It's got the blue Danube pattern right there. If I said that correctly from my porcelain group, correct me if I'm wrong. These are all board shorts, stuff that just didn't fit. These are the jeans I have left. My dad found a CD trade post. It's a music store slash video game store. Graphic tees, Lone Star Express. There's only one man who would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star. Clockwork Orange. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. Dragon Ball Z, Sensu Bean since 1986. Where was my Sensu Bean? Sensu Bean! <laughs> Visit Scarif. This was my wife's favorite. Casterly Rock. Westeros Brewing Company, the Lannisters. Lannister always pays his debts. We have over 200 of them. And they range all the way up to size 3X. Go ahead and check out uh, my eBay store if you want to take a look at those. When the store closed down, they gave us this rack. It's on wheels, it's steel piping. I can raise and lower it. I probably could put them up high and then build a shelf down there on the bottom. These are mostly coats, men's long sleeve, men's long sleeve. This is a lot of the leftover stuff that's gonna be phased out. There's some Harley stuff left from that Harley buy. A lot of the women's stuff. I took a trip to Lincoln on Friday. I was doing a pickup from an eBay purchase from Alicia, the inked picker. Go ahead and check out her channel. She had told me about a couple of estate sales. All right, so obviously estate sales is gonna be older clothes. This H bar C, it's a Western pearl snap, but if you look, I don't know how well the camera does it justice. It's a blue pearl, and it's really nice and it's definitely got that, the Western style seams. Um, and it's old enough that it has the inspector's stamp, you know, where the shirt would be tucked in. And that's, ooh, let me zoom in there, whoa, okay. Made in the USA. And that shirt alone is probably gonna pay for most of the trip. And there was this other one, also a vintage pearl snap. It has purple pearls and it's navy and it's got that, ooh, let me zoom out, there we go. Um, that Western seams, seams again, or those Western seams again. Um, different brand, it's Mesquite. Um, also made in the USA. So those two shirts alone, I should be able to pay for everything. And then took a, found uh, this Van Heusen, this yellow plaid. I know a lot of people don't buy Van Heusen. It is the crap brand, but go look at my solds. That's all I have to say is go look at my solds. Another Van Heusen, this blue plaid, um, short sleeve, it's got a pocket. I know it's short sleeve and it should be over there. Um, it's going to be, I literally just photographed all these because they're 
right next to my photo stand so it's really easy to stage them here um, i will sort them out in a bit but today went thrifting with the wife we haven't done that in a while picked up this uh, columbia sportswear it's just a short sleeve um, really comfy relaxed jacket it's got that velcro right there sorry hook and loop right there um with a pocket it does not it's not pfg or anything it's not fishing gear but there's two of those there both two xls one green and one gray so those would go good together and then these uh just basic l.o bean checked there's a green uh blue kind of teal and a purple one they're all large single pocket short sleeve men's shirts and then i found this uh, wrangler retro um it's a size medium i don't usually pick up mediums but i love pearl snap stuff and if you look let me zoom uh, probably too far come on phone one-handed let's do this okay um it is a brown brown and black pattern um uh, maybe that is purple Ooh, where'd it go there it is that could be purple Uh, it almost reminds me of old furniture. Let's see if I can get a different button. Maybe it shows better. Well, that might actually be... No, it looks cream to me, almost like a brown color. Um, but anyways, so it is a purple um, Western-style Wrangler shirt. And these Western shirts, they do sell. And we find them a lot here in Nebraska. And this one I took a chance on. I don't know if it's going to be any good. It is a... Uh, Garth Brooks, um, also Western, but it's got these weird hex buttons. Um, and it's not really a print. It almost looks like uh, when they made it, it kind of bubbled up in the middle to make that pattern. So they look like little bubbles, um, almost like an eyeball, but it's interesting. But it's got that everywhere um, except for that single button it's a pearl with a uh i'm guessing that's garth brooks's logo but it's by cinch so that might do all right and then i've never seen this before it is a large tall drysdales um obviously taking off of the beverly hillbillies um western it's got that western seam right here this is what makes a shirt western is this little point right here um, also pearl, and it's a very pearl pearl. So it's got that obelisk or uh, uh, opalescent that pearl, 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 pearl. Um, but it's canvas. It's very thick. You definitely could wear this outside working and that kind of stuff. So um, that might do well. I haven't even done comps on it. I literally just took photos and decided, oh, I'm going to do a video. I haven't done one in a while. Um, American Eagle Outfitters. I don't pick up a lot. I have. A, I do have a lot. Um, but I just took a chance and it was kind of a ver pearl snap kind of kind of weekend. So this is a vintage fit, medium. Of course, there's that Western. And this is more of a marble. It's got um, like a stone marble with the black lines going through it. And then this one, it's a yellow and brown plaid patty. Patagonia. Uh, so large it does have a pretty decent flaw right there they had stuck a tag through and so the tag hole got large but otherwise not bad shape it does have the little uh, flank tag right there okay um what else did we get today? Oh, uh, these two River Lodge, they're Columbia Sports, single pocket, um, men's long sleeve. This is uh, hunting like uh, bucks pattern, you know, the deer, male deer. And then uh, these are both size large. I think I said that already. I don't remember. Um, and then these are hunting dogs, bird dogs. And so those should go. Now this jacket. Funny story on this jacket. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So I saw it just like this on the hanger. It was just like this. You can't see anything down here, but I saw it just like this. And I saw the black 
And I, all I had to do was go like this, and I knew exactly what it was. Um, put in the comments right now if you know what it is before I show you what it is. All right. So this, all I had to do was come over here. First, I checked the zipper to see if the zipper was intact, and it is. And I zipped it down. It is a Marlboro Miles exclusive. So you had to get the miles and send in for it. It was the only way to get it, 90s. Uh, Marlboro jacket, this is all embroidered patchery right here. Um, and then on one of the sleeves on the red side, it's the other sleeve. It's got a embroidered patch right there. But I knew what it was because I have actually, I actually had one of these. My mom gave me hers when I was in high school. Um, but it's, it's very nice bomber jacket style. It's got pockets on the front, on the, on the inside and the outside. Um, obviously I'm keeping the black in just to kind of look nice, but that is a nice find. And let me throw some comps up right here. A couple of recently sold. Um, so yeah, nice find. Even as a medium, that's still gonna be a good buck. And here's the cool part is they had taken somebody had ripped the tag off so it was just the plastic thing and most thrift stores won't sell to you um at least the ones in our area if the tag's been ripped off there's where our black shelves went more christmas decor i gave them to her we didn't get rid of them um but they the lady at the desk whew, the lady at the desk was nice enough to sell them to me for all the same price. So I got that um, and a couple other shirts. I don't remember. It was three, four shirts in total. She gave them all to me for $4.99 a piece.